Hi guys, I know this isn't a book channel, I get that totally, but I have book tip number three for you. Every time I come across something that, that astrologically speaking, catches my eye, I want to share it with the world. And um, what I'm going to share with you today is the third book tip. I'm going to make it brief, because when I look at the numbers, um, nobody really here on that channel seems all that interested in my musings about books. Anyway, the look, the book that we're looking for, the, the book that we're looking at, is the Handbook of Chinese Astrology, and it is fascinating. It's a very, very deep book. I got the 2011 uh, um, version, which means after 2011 there is no more data in there. But you know, um, there uh, even this version that I have has sold a million copies. Then I don't think it's out of print. So you will always get. Uh, um, books on Chinese astrology. But uh, this one is really amazing because it is not a book that just, you know, grazes on certain energies and just um, very randomly mentions stuff. This goes super in-depth into all 12 uh, um, animal guides that have been depicted for the signs in um, Chinese astrology. It also tells you why zodiac uh, um, length is, is about 60 years and why there's five different versions of each animal it has to do with the elements so again read that book it is really really amazing book and it also tells you a bit of the of the history about how chinese astrology came about one of the the, the most fascinating stories in that book is that the, the the chinese zodiac came about when the lord buddha so you know we're going back to vedic astrology um, decided to leave the heavens and come to earth. He had a big pruhaha, a big welfare party, and invited in all the animals of all the kingdoms. And uh, maybe um, disappointingly, only 12 showed up. And in the order they showed up, he wrote them down and then made the astrology, the zodiac wheel with these 12 animals, right? Great story, one of many in that book, the handbook of Chinese astrology. Really, really recommend uh, to read this, right? I do Western astrology and I partly look into Vedic astrology and maybe then compare a little. I compare a lot in my astrology reports that I write for a living. Uh, sometimes I feel like I should be comparing, which means I give a bit of extra energy and a bit of extra information how other um, astrological um, modalities uh, or other astrological thoughts um, can add to the reading that I'm recording. Uh, sorry, that I'm the, the astrology reports that I'm writing for people. So there's a good chance that in the future, some of you who order one might get a bit of Chinese stuff sprinkled in. Anyway, this is a really, really amazing book. I got it secondhand. Uh, 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 and um, still find it fascinating. To me, it makes no difference uh, if, because I, I, I'm not using Chinese astrology in my work. So it doesn't really make a difference if the people that, that wanted an astrology report um, have to be born after 2011 because it's obviously not something that I'm, I'm using. But it is awesome to compare it, for instance, to how the animal guides used in, um, in Western astrology if they do show up in um, a, a Chinese one, how different they are being depicted. Anyway, tons of stuff in this in this book. Really, really amazing. Highly recommend you having a look at that book, the Handbook of Chinese Astrology. Really, really awesome. I do recommend it. I know my book tips. Nobody actually, you know, hardly anyone watches them. Doesn't mean um, they're not valid. And I have a little playlist here called book tips so you know if you if you don't want to watch then don't watch right there's tons of other videos on this channel that hopefully um, you appreciate in any case book tip number three is here hereby accomplished see you soon bye bye